We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you to come to this place. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Hey, dragonflies, it's Carly May. I have a song, I have a story, and I have a lullaby for you today. For our song, I thought we would sing a song. We haven't gotten to sing for a little while. You might be wondering why I keep looking down. I'm about to show you. I thought we could do five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay? All right, so once upon a time there were one, two, three, four, five. Five little monkeys, and it was time for them to go to bed. And they all went to bed together in the same bed, in the same room. So their mama monkey tucked them all in, tuck, 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 gave ma kisses, mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah! and said, good night monkeys, it's time to go to sleep. No jumping on the bed. And then she left. And guess what those monkeys did? Five little monkeys were jumping on the bed, but one fell off and bumped her head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys were left? One, two, three, four. Yeah, the one that bumped her head went off by Mama. Now there's only four little monkeys. And their Mama said, no more jumping on the bed. And then she left. But guess what they did? Four little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, what did the doctor say? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, how many monkeys are left? One, two, three. Mama said, no more jumping on the bed and she left. Guess what they did? Three little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys were left? One, two, two monkeys. So Mama took the other monkey back to her room and she said, no more jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Ouch! Oh, Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hmm. How many monkeys are left? One. One monkey. So Mama took the other monkey back to her room and said, no more jumping on the bed, I mean it. Guess what this monkey did? One little monkey was jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Ouch, oh, ow. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, and you know what? Mama was so, 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 so frustrated with all of her monkeys not listening to her message. Do you know what she told them? She said, oh, you didn't listen to my message. You know what she did? took the bed, she gave them their pillows, she gave them their blankets, and she made a nice little nest for them on the floor to sleep in, and she took that bed out into the hallway. 
she said, go to sleep. And if you go to sleep in your bed, or if you go to sleep on those pillows and blankets tonight, and no more jumping around, then I'll, I'll put your bed back tomorrow. You know what those five monkeys did then? They curled up on their blankets and they went to sleep. And the next night they got to sleep in their bed again. Do you think this time they jumped on their bed? They certainly did not. <laughs> Thanks for playing that game with me, my friends. All right, let's read our story. For our story today, I have a story that reminded me of outside. It's called The Cloud Book. And what do you see on the cover? I see some animals <coughs> that are all white and fluffy. I see a person. I see a cloud and a plant. And what's, what's behind the cloud? It looks like a blue sky. Outside today is blue sky. Oh, and look, there's a teeny little heart right in the corner. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. The cloud book. Almost any time you go outside and look up at the sky, you can see clouds. Clouds are little drops of water or ice hanging up in the sky high above the earth. And if you could hop on a bird and fly way up, you could see the whole world covered with clouds. Look, do you see? That's the planet we live on and it's covered in clouds. There are many different kinds of clouds and some are high up and some are in the middle and some are low down in the sky. There are three names for those clouds, cirrus, cumulus and stratus and you can tell them apart by the way they look and by where they are in the sky. Cirrus clouds are white and kind of feathery and they are way way high up, the highest up in the sky. Cumulus clouds are puffy and look like cauliflower. They also have flat bottoms and they are always changing shapes. They are low down in the sky. Look, do you see how fluffy these ones are? These ones aren't as fluffy, they're kind of long, stretched out and way high up. And these ones are low down. They're flat on the bottom and really fluffy. Stratus clouds are low also. They look like big, wide, gray blankets and are sometimes called high fogs. Drizzle or snow might fall from them. Have you ever seen up in the sky, you look up at a big, big building, but you can't see the top of it because it's all covered in clouds? Those are stratus clouds. Hmm. There are also many other kinds of clouds. They have longer names because they look like all those three clouds, but all mixed together. So look, these ones are called cirrocumulus clouds. They kind of look sh like sheep. <laughs> These are cirrostratus that are really high up, but they're really thin and white. And you can see the sun and the moon through them. Mm. These ones are called altostratus and altocumulus. Those are big words, huh? Hmm. And these ones are called nimbostratus, stratocumulus, and cumulonimbus. Those are all kind of fun names too. They're very low, low, low in the sky. And those are the kind of clouds that rain or snow falls from. Those are the kind of clouds that look gray and heavy and dark. Stratocumulus clouds are the dark clouds that you see in the winter time. When it's not snowy, it's just kind of dark and gray. And cumulonimbus clouds are the kind of clouds you see during a thunderstorm. They look like giant poofy gray clouds, almost like mountains. Wow. 
fog is a cloud made out of water droplets on the ground. It can come right into your front yard. We see fog sometimes, don't we? Covers up our streets and makes it hard to see all the way down. Up in the mountains, people give special names to clouds. One is called a banner cloud and the other is called a boa cloud. Look, this one looks like a banner across the sky. And this looks like a boa, a snake, winding around the mountain. Oh, wow. A long time ago, people used to look at the clouds and see things. The Native Americans used to see thunderbirds in dark storm clouds. Ancient Greek people believed that Hermes, the messenger of the gods, who, all, who was also the wind, once stole the sun's cows, which were clouds. Isn't that kind of a silly story? And in Labrador, which is a place way, way, way up north, people believe that fog was caused by a white bear who drank too much water and burst. Look, drinks, 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 and then boom, he burst and he was the fog. That's kind of a silly story too. People saw giants, animals, ships, and castles in the clouds. Look, do you see all of those shapes? There are some sayings about clouds that help tell, the, or tell about the weather. Farmers say that when fog goes up the mountain hopping, then the rain comes down the mountain dropping. So when fog goes up, 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 and over the mountain, it turns into rain. Huh. There are large clouds in the morning. Sometimes people say, in the morning mountains, in the evening fountains. Look, in the morning, big fluffy mountains. In the evening, it's raining. And sailors would say that mackerel scales and mare's tails make lofty ships carry low sails. Oh, look, so they said that when the clouds look like this, later on they're gonna see a storm and big waves. That's what sailors used to think. Hmm, there are funny sayings too. If people don't seem to know what they are doing, other people say, he's in a fog or she has her head in the clouds. And now, here's a very silly cloud story. The cloud enters the room, the cloud fills the room, the cloud leaves the room, the room. <laughs> The end. Oh, that was so much information about clouds. Did you know clouds all had different names depending on what they looked like? Wow. All right, dragonflies, let's sing our lullaby and then it'll be time for me to say see you later. How about, oh, who's that? Oslo, hey dude. <laughs> Oslo says hi. Are you going to join us for our lullaby, Ogie? Yeah? Okay. Oslo's going to join us for our lullaby. How about we sing Paper Moon? All right, let's sing it. They say it's only a paper moon Sailing over a cardboard sea but it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. Yes, it's only a canvas sky hanging over a muslin tree. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me without your love. It's a honky-tonk parade Without your love It's a melody played in a penny arcade It's a Barnum and Bailey world Just as phony as it can be but it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. All right, dragonflies. I love you. I miss you. All of your teachers love you, and we all miss you very much. We can't wait to see you again soon. I'll talk to you later. Mm.